Jimmy said it's not easy being the king of the world. It gets harder every day. But somebody's got to do the job, you know. So it might as well be me. Jimmy bought himself a one-way ticket. Greyhound bus that was bound for Santa Fe Left everything behind You'd ever loved and faded away And Jamie found a lover down in Hollywood He was a good man as far as good men go, I guess Old system software for a high tech firm in the valley. When night she wrote him a letter, it went a little something like this. She said, I got big dreams, big dreams, don't you know? It's so hard to make these big dreams come true. And I've been holding on to what we had the best I can, but. Sometimes holding on is the hardest thing to do So I ain't coming home tonight Now don't wait up for me No, I ain't coming home tonight I'm finally free I met a man one night in a bar in Colorado He said I got a gift, more like a curse, I must confess He said I can remember everybody's name that I've ever met before So I said name everybody in your first grade class And he did, I guess And I imagine all those names stretched out forever like rays of light from a long dead distant star and I thought to myself well what have I done with this life of mine besides finding myself here in this smoke filled bar so I ain't coming home tonight now don't wait up for me Coming on tonight. I'm finally free. And time rolls by like an old friend gone away. And I am just a mere mortal man. And death will be my final lover. Life will always be something that I'll never understand. Higher now than the Capitol building in downtown Austin, and I'm freer than the West Texas wind. And I move down the street like a cloud moving across a clear blue sky, and I know I may never feel this way again. So I ain't coming home tonight So don't wait up for me No, I ain't coming home tonight I'm finally free Oh, I ain't coming home tonight don't wait up, don't you wait up for me, honey Yeah, I ain't coming home tonight I'm finally, finally free Finally free Thanks a lot. 
I was thinking that when I wrote that song, it was like tw at least 20 years ago, and uh, back then, like, if, if I wasn't coming home, it was going to be like a real big deal, and now my wife would be like, see ya. <laughs> like, it just doesn't have the same gravitas, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's how time will fuck up a song, really. <laughs> Well, they come from Springfield and Buffalo. They come from Louisiana and Idaho. Yeah, they leave their loved ones and their families. Oh, for these gray skies and these palm trees. Alone and dreaming You're shining and gleaming Just like diamonds on the sea And falling to the arms of California con men like me Yeah, they work at restaurants and keep their heads high They become stereo consultants Down at the Best Buy Oh, they leave their one road town And everything they know Just to get their name here And star on this Hollywood road, yeah On the sea, I'm falling to the arms of California con men like me. Yeah, they leave their little white house down in Fairview. Swell they keep in touch, even though they never do, with their bags packed. By the world turns and the heart's beating Oh, while the stars burn Alone and dreaming Shining and gleaming Just like diamonds on the sea Fall into the arms of California con men like me. Thank you. That's a song uh, based on a, a, a porn site called Bangers. <laughs> it's, it's dumb. <laughs> That's for regular visitors to a little site called Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> if you're not a regular visitor, you're like, oh, what? I don't know what's going on here in Houston, but in Austin, that site's closed down, by the way. I think it's, is it all of Texas? Ah, that was a test. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to find out who the big masturbators were in the room. <laughs> I know who they are. <laughs> this, this guy's narking his friend out. He's like, <laughs> I don't know if he was referring to what I was talking about or there might have been having another conversation. And one day the dragon, oh, I never showed his face. He came calling at my place. He had hung a beautiful hat upon his head. I asked him why. Well, he just turned to me and he said, well, there is love. And everything I see, there is love. 
inside of you and me and there is love everywhere i turn and i love to watch it burn 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 and one day the moon it was sleeping in the sky and the sun came over Oh, to just say hi, you'd ask me, how you doing? Are you having any fun? I said, I'm doing okay. Now that the day is almost done and there is love. And everything I see and there is love. Inside of you and me and there is love. Oh, everywhere I turn. And I love to watch it burn, 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 burn. And my baby, my baby, whoo, she got a fire deep inside and you can see it. When you look into her eyes, oh, they smolder. And the fire never fades, we get along, I guess. Most every other day, but there is love in everything I see, and there is love inside of you and me, and there is love in everywhere I turn, and I love to watch it burn, 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 burn.
Thank you. Trying to get the heavy harmonica work out of the way early in this uh, I was walking in the light, walking in the light, one night, one night. You can say I seen things. Nobody's ever seen before. Like a message in a bottle, somebody threw into the sea long ago. I finally washed up on your shore. Say I love you And you would be right Forevermore As I was walking in the light Walking in the light One night I've looked upon the mountain and decided it was much too hard to climb. I've looked upon the mountain and finally knew the meaning of the word. Sublime. So then turned and went back home, having done almost nothing and feeling just fine. Yeah, walking in the light. Walking in the light One night One night I've gone into the studio And said, oh, with all the earnestness That I could command Can you add a little low intensity to the mix? <laughs> My talented and eager engineering friend. Oh, and he did what was instructed in the bass, popped out the speaker again and again and again and again and again. That's, that's that song, by the way. <laughs> thank, thank, thank. People sometimes ask me, and they're like, did, did you just make that song up on the spot? Uh, no. The answer is always no. <clears throat> Drive around smoking cigarettes in my car. Oh, I did it just because. Yeah, no one wondered where I was. 
And then you came along You rode right in and saved the day Oh, you'd never let me down Oh, look how things have turned around I used to be a man who would go right out and paint the town that was so long ago now now i'm not sure i know how mostly bridges burn down when no one's around and you won't know it till you're Trying to find your way back home Oh, you make me falter Oh, you make me Make me wonder what you see in me that I can't see in myself. Thank, thank you. Another one that sort of ends like most of the songs, uh, most of my relationships in the 90s. Just, I think it's over. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, it is. Oh, it is over. Okay. Just checking. Just, yeah, you got to make sure sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. It's definitely over. I'm at that Burger King in Rome. I'm at that Burger King. Uh, yeah, baby got that Prada bag. She don't give two fucks about anything but magic, bro. She's staying up all night. Got that diamond crush. I see finger sippy cup. Can you see my bumper sticker? Then please back up. Go brick balls on this verse like on Naz. When I'm on the floor, I'm like a straight up spaz. I can, I, can you even say that nowadays? Man, I'm an artist. Say what I want, what I want. I'm at that Burger King and Rome. I'm at that Burger King. Freedom fry, eating bitch, used to be a model, Vespa death, imminent, finger on the damn throttle, London, France, Germany, I'll figure it out later, I'll write these hits, cause I got to make that paper buy, baby man, I got that dirty French mouth, when we get together, damn man, all the sparks come out, hurt me with the words that she use all the time, yeah, I know it's a lie, but I like to call it mine, I'm in the styles in your old building, I'm just wolfing down a whopper, my favorite movie chopper, damn, I'm like tennis opera, Showstopper, sharp fucking dresser, past life regressor. Yeah, I never felt better like a bullet from a gun. That's a love letter, son. This life's never certain. My feet be hurting. These cobblestones are no joke. Feels like my feet are broke. It's hard to hear what you're saying. Here at the rave, if you got a little free time, maybe we could misbehave. I'm walking down the street, 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 like I was made of gold. My flow real clean, like a bar of soap, soap, soap. And people be saying, 
I got my facts all wrong. I don't give a fuck. I'm at the Burger King in Rome. I'm at the Burger King in Rome. I'm at the Burger King in Rome. Yeah. When I'm on the mic, damn, I'm taking care of business. Green water bottle here, got that right of mine of I ordered a hot slice, man, it didn't have any sauce. Papa John's does, he the pizza bar. <laughs> Spent a thousand euro at the airport on a thinny. Got 200k in this watch here, cause I'm trendy. Went to the Coliseum, man, but I couldn't get inside. So I'm back at the hotel, I'm watching Father of the Bride. I had a cup of coffee, man, in a tiny ass cup. Turn out, Buena Sarah, just mean what up? Reading Nabokov, man, to my mind like gravy. All these bitches wanna have my baby. I'm at that Burger King and run. I'm at the Burger King in Rome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. For years now, people have been asking me, when are you going to write your masterpiece? You're welcome. <laughs> this, this guy, I was... That, that, if you've been to Rome, you, you're like, oh, that's, I feel like I'm back there again. <laughs> if you haven't been, you're like, I, you won't like the song as much, but it's basically, it's a, anyways, I'm telling you this because this dude that I know, he's a chef, he's a restaurateur, he owns like, I don't know, fucking 20 restaurants, he's real famous, and uh, he was like, when we were in Rome, He's like, you got to go get this pizza, man. It's the best pizza in the world. And so I was like, well, if he says it's the best, it's, you know, probably good. And because uh, he's always in Italy, like ha half, half the restaurants are, that he owns are all Italian restaurants and stuff. So, so we get there and sure enough, there's a fucking line and it looks pretty substantial. But I'm like, how long can this line last? I'll tell you how long I died in that line. <laughs> a part of me died at least. <laughs> A, uh, an important part of who I am died in that line. <laughs> the part that I enjoyed. <laughs> the part of me that I liked. That part died <laughs> in that line. I, I want to say it was about a two hour wait. And I was there with friends. I wasn't there alone. So we were, you know, chatting. And, but I was like, come on. It was not. It was uncomfortably hot. I don't like that. I know I'm from Texas. I should enjoy it. But I was in Italy. I'm like, the weather should be better here. <laughs> If I was in Houston, I'd be like, fuck it. I know it's going to suck. So, <laughs> anyways, we, get, we fucking wait for two hours in this fucking line and then get up there and they got... I'm just looking for... Hey, look, here's me. Pepperoni pizza. That's what I like. Give me a New York slice of pepperoni pizza and I'm happy. And when I say a piece, I mean three big, giant fucking New York slices. <laughs> I go up there, nothing looks like that. They got... Cod, <laughs> giant like cod heads on fucking everything square, by the way. Pan, it's all pan pizza. I'm like, that's the kind my mom made that I hated when I was a kid. <laughs> that was that shitty pan pizza my mom made in the fucking 70s that sucked, boy. So I got trauma from square pan pizza from being a kid. Because all we wanted was Domino's, but my parents were poor as fuck. That's why I'm so good now, by the way. <laughs> if you're rich and you got kids, steer them away from music. They need to be dirt poor as kids to make good music. Anyways, so I'm like, well, fuck it. Maybe it won't be as bad as my mom's shitty ass pan pizza that she, she'd work all. By the way, my mom, get up, get us ready for school, work all day, come home, make pan pizza from scratch. We'd shit on that. <laughs> Stay up all night drinking, smoking cigarettes. Just do it all again. Anyways, I love my mom. All, on, all right, so we, anyway, to make a long story even longer, I ordered some artichoke shit. Like, I just want, I'm like, where's the pepperoni? Oh, 
of course, they all, none of them, nobody spoke any English. They're in, <laughs> yeah, it's Rome. I'm speaking Rome. <laughs> anyway, so we get through. I tried. The pizza was fucking horrible. It was not good. Anyways, I had that guy, uh, the restaurant tour assassinated. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Put a hit on him. He's dead now, so it's good. <laughs> He's not gonna steer anybody wrong anymore because he ain't a gray boy. <laughs> no, he he's not in the grave, but he's dead to me for sure. I will, I will never, never talk to him again. The year's two thousand and two. I'm doing exactly what I wanna do. Yeah, I don't even think about you Hardly anymore But I thought I'd drop you a line You know, to let you know that I was doing fine It's been a long, long time Since you walked out my door It took me some time, I must confess for a while there, I was feeling less than my best. Had to get out of town, so I headed out west. I ended up in Seattle. Thought I'd start a brand new band. Thought I might just call it Lonely Land. And things got a little out of hand, and I ended up hooked on heroin. I thought that would be cool to put that in there <laughs> when I wrote the song. And then almost immediately, I was like, well, I'm not going to get laid now. Because <laughs> this is, and again, this song was written like 20 years ago when everybody was worried about AIDS. Now, of course, everybody knows that's, can't get AIDS. I mean, some people can, obviously. A lot of people got it and died. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm saying is, I was worried about AIDS back then. Some other people were. And then I would say heroin, and they're like, oh, this dude shooting up the heroin probably got that AIDS, if at the very least, hep C. And I'm like, I've never shot up shit in my life. I got neither. I do have a hankering to get my penis stuck inside that butthole of yours, though. <laughs> And then I was like, well, I should, probably shouldn't have put that in there. <laughs> so now I, change, now, now I say this. This is my new way of doing it. Now that it doesn't matter anymore, by the way. Now that I'm not trying to get late anymore, so who cares? Thought I'd start a brand new band. Thought I'd call it Lonely Land Things got a little out of hand I got hooked on Heineken, I don't have AIDS <laughs> Just clear things up then I, then I was like, well, don't say you don't have AIDS That's People with AIDS say they don't have AIDS <laughs> How do you know somebody's got AIDS? I don't have AIDS <laughs> Works for anything Just fill in the blank with the AIDS word with anything. I'm not crazy. I wouldn't stalk you. I wouldn't key your car after we broke up. I wouldn't park myself in the bushes for weeks at a time outside your house once you started dating other people. Those are joke examples, by the way. <laughs> now I'm regretting I said any of it. This is a long song. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into it. I ended up moving back to Germany, living with my folks, bagging groceries. 
The time that I had, it was mostly free. I spent most of it drinking. And I got myself in a jam or two. Yeah, I guess that's what I had to do. But late at night, I'd still think of you. And it felt just like I was drowned. Till I met a girl at a discotheque Well, she was a dancer, but not what she'd expect She taught ballet, she was half Czech Half Chinese And after she decided not to have the baby Said she might move back to the mainland, maybe By then I didn't give a damn, I was half drunk, half crazy I got arrested once, but I was never convicted. My parents eventually had me evicted. I tried your number, it had been disconnected. I guess I should have known. And I heard you got married and you moved away. I called your folks up, but where they wouldn't say. They said, Bobby, it's probably better that way. So I just let it be. And I moved back to Austin about a year ago. I drive a school bus, now I don't drink no more. Got every once in a while to see a show, most I just sit around and I watch TV. So I don't know where I'm gonna send this letter. And I doubt things ever gonna get much better. It seems like life's one big whatever. Anyway. I just thought I'd drop you a line Lie and say that I was doing fine Cause it has been a long, long time Since you walked out my door Thank you. How's everybody doing tonight? That's some... That's some pro shit that you say on stage, by the way. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yeah. I saw Taylor Swift doing it on that Eras thing. She was wearing, she was showing all of her leg when she said it. So I feel like if I was showing all of my leg and I was like, how y'all doing? You'd be like, not great. <laughs> like, put some pants on, boy. I'm like, I'm just doing it like, take. T.S. Oh. Finally know what T.S. Eliot's name is now. Taylor Swift Eliot. No wonder he uses initials. <laughs> We're learning together. Some people... If, like, they don't, if you think I'm being serious, people are like, this isn't, I don't, what am I watching? <laughs> what is this guy saying, even? <laughs> if you know they're your jokes, you're like, oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but if you think I'm being, like, if you think we're at a lecture here, like, it's a fucking Chris Stapleton show or some shit, <laughs> you'd be like, I don't even know what's going on now. Who is this dude? Who am I? What, why are we even here? Why am I here? I'm never coming back to this. <laughs> You're questioning your sexuality. Am I a man? I know you're like, that's not, what's that got to do with sexuality? That's gender, what the fuck is this? He's not making any sense. Play the songs, motherfucker, shut the fuck up. I'm getting ready to film this, what I'm doing here, out in California in, a, in, a, in about a month, and my manager's here watching the show. <laughs> he was the one who told me to play those 
old early songs in the set. He's like, well, you got to play those for a thing. I'm like, oh. Anyways, he's like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna make it so that, you know, no, no talking. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the songs. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I should film in Texas. Hey, uh, Drew, can you build a, a $38 million theater here in the heart of Texas somewhere so I can shoot this fucking special here? Thanks, buddy. I heard you came down with the London blues. Sometimes your way's an easy thing to lose. She took the drugs the way the doctor had prescribed. Then just waited for the train to arrive. I thought we'd lost her that very night She closed her eyes and ran right through the light She's not the city, she's the state of the art She's got the biggest hole in her heart She's got the biggest hole in her heart Look out the window, the engine stalled don't you worry, I brought the otter all. Fire your bullets till the ground's all wet. Then just stare straight into the TV set. Yeah, there's a reason I'm telling you this, but for the life of me, I can't remember it. I do remember this one small part. She's got the biggest hole in her heart. She's got the biggest hole in her heart. Try to believe what comes out of her mouth. She bought the ocean, though, and poured it all out. Cause one's too many and nothing's ever enough. Can't catch a break with any of this stuff. She left the party after the fire broke out. But the judge said there was a reasonable doubt. She took the stand and her defense fell apart. She's got the biggest hole in her heart. She's got the biggest hole in her Think straight most of the time. When it comes to most things, you're fine. You can dream of the stars, see how far away they are, and just how impossible it is. But when it comes to love, it's almost impossible to see. It's even harder to believe. But the wheel of your life is in the hands of a fool. And nothing anyone can say will change what you do. And you'll sing this song. Lovers have sung for so long goodbye, farewell. You can all go to hell. I'm in love, and I'm loved. I'm loved, and I'm in love. There's a line that you cross that you don't know you've crossed, but you have, and you're there, and you're floating in air, and the bottom is gone. There's nothing to save you. There's nothing to save you, but you don't want to be saved, because the wheel of your life. He's in the hands of a fool 
And nothing anyone can say will change what you do. So you sing this song that lovers have sung for so long. Goodbye, farewell. You can all go to hell. I'm in love, and I'm loved. I'm loved, and I'm in love. Thank you. Well, they say love finds its own way home But on the way it might rip out your heart and break all your bones It might turn your skin to stone Leave you screaming for the reason why you're dreaming all along And what about the man who fell? Fell from a blue-black sky one night to the deepest, darkest well, a well that never ends until you are in hell with no way out, no one left to cancel out the spell. Yeah, but falling's all we ever do. We fall through the sky upon the earth, around the sun our whole lives through, and no one wonders why we always think it's true that everything we do is so important. I have no clue. Come on. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, baby, come on. They say love finds its own way home. Around the snakes inside your heart and underneath all the bones. And though the world will fold you in its pocket, you will never bend. You're not the type, my only love, my only real friend. What about the girl around? She ran so far away she could never find her way back home again She tripped, fell, broke her heart Yeah, now the only thing she does well is fall the fuck apart Come on Yeah, come on, baby, come on Come on, baby, come on Come on, baby, come on So what about the star sky? I know I've used that tired analogy a thousand times, but it still has the same strange effect on me. I fall into the sky like I was falling into a beautiful blue sea. I want to stop the world and hide. But there's nowhere to run and no place left inside. Just want to stop, catch my breath. Want to spend one second on this earth, not scared to death. Come on. That's what I say, but is it true? Truth is everything's perfect and it's not for me and you to figure out anything at all and all we got is time and now it's time so fuck the brakes and get in line I wanna make you see the light I wanna shine as bright as downtown Houston on a Saturday night I wanna scream until I drown I wanna get so high I never come back down I know you'll never understand You think you know me well, you think you know me well But think again, I'm on fire I'm insane and I'm alright Just don't stand so close, you'll be blinded by the light Come on! Yeah, come on baby, come on! Come on baby, come on! Baby, come on! Thanks a lot. It's very sweet of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for that applause. Every once in a while, I'm like, if I'm at like a really fancy restaurant, I'm like, oh, I should order like that. 
Hmm, let's see, I'll have the uh, beef tips and- I SAID YOU'RE SO SILENT! <laughs> could, you, could you imagine if you're in a restaurant and you're just enjoying your food and somebody just fucking starts going off like that? You'd be like, what the fuck? Oh my God, is that Bob Schneider? I'm just imagining a world where people know who I am in a restaurant, <laughs> like outside of a fucking, that smallest club in the world. <laughs> oh shit, uh, bring in the extra security, Bob Schneider is here at the uh, Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, he's here every day at the same time. <laughs> he's a big fan of that Chipotle. Keeps you, keeps you running. Keeps you regular. Let me put it that way. <laughs> you got a problem with uh, irregularity? Chipotle. <laughs> you want to shit five times today? Chipotle. <laughs> I've been talking to them about doing that commercial. They're like, ah, we don't think so. You know, they're all like, fresh shit. We make the fresh shit. Yeah, you do. By the way, this is the kind of stuff my manager does not want me to do during the, <laughs> during the filming of the special. I would say maybe the best parts of the show. I don't know. You'll notice that the audience is divided on that one. <laughs> Hard and heavy, high and silly boys with names like Luke or Billy. Hard to catch young and rough who can't get enough without a job or money. Sweet as nails and soft as honey, always run beloved to fight. I know what kind of boys you like. I stub wrists like igloos, driving around in BMWs, using words like indignatious sleeves, full of aces. White eyed pups all alone, made of glass and skin and stones, but your secret's safe with me tonight. I know what kind of boys you like. Boys with mouths like canyons, you could ride a horse or stand in and shine like dimes and say your name a thousand times, full of rage and doubt, till at last they flicker out like a fire that burns too bright. I know what kind of boys you like. Boys who look like rainbows, snatch you up and never let go. Pack your bags and say goodnight to everyone in your life. I've got a way of seeing who you are and I believe in you. Bet I'm sight to know what kind of boys you like. Yeah, I know what kind of boys you like. I know I'm the kind of boys you like. Thank you. That song's listed based on We Them Boys. Originally it was... I know... <laughs> I know the kind of them boys, dems you like, and then I ch change that. <laughs> and I'm pretty glad I did actually at this point. <laughs> like I, you know, now that some time has passed, I'm glad I made that choice.
This is a song from my new record that's coming out. Easy. <laughs> Easy with that excitement level. <laughs> you don't want to, like, choke on whatever m m delicious morsel of shepherd's pie you just put in your in your mouth. I saw uh, Taylor Swift's uh, Eras concert movie uh, with my daughter, who's nine, and my wife, who's uh, she's just turned eighteen. Uh, <laughs> no, she's she's older than that, but uh, not by much. Anyways, uh, she's legal. Let's just put it that way. Let's keep it there. Anyways, we watched uh, Taylor Swift's, and uh, I don't know if you've seen it. It might not be the right uh, demo for. I think it's under 50. JK! Check that. I knew as soon as, yeah. You guys are fine. Don't worry about it. I know there's this lady over here who's like, I'm 47, bitch. How dare you? Anyways, I think it's 35 and under is the demo, but whatever. There's people of all ages that like, I like Taylor Swift, and I'm in my late 30s. And when I say late 30s, when I say late, I mean the alarm clock is broken. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So anyway, I was watching the um, Taylor Swift eras thing, and, and she basically goes through all her albums, and every time she mentions an album, she's at like a place like this, SoFi Stadium. And... Um, <laughs> And every time she mentions an album, people fucking just lose their mind. They, like, tear their skin off and shit on the ground, evacuate themselves, reach deep into their chest, pull out their beating heart. This is for you, fucking bitch. And she's like... Doing that shit. And I was like, man, when am I going to feel that sort of unbridled enthusiasm at a show? And then when I mentioned that this next song was uh, for my new record and then you guys did what you guys did, I was like, I guess it feels like that. <laughs> I'm going to recreate you guys. So this is a song for my new record. <laughs> Another one? Jesus Christ. I haven't listened to the last three, bitch. <laughs> When's he going to play something from Lonely Land? Oh, it's out of why. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, they got these samurai sons of bitches. They go town to town, cut up snitches. They don't like snitches in old Japan. You talking shit about the king, you must understand. Understand that the king don't play. Better watch what you say, better mind your tongue. I know you might be young, that's no excuse to cut you loose in the night. Come down on you like rain, you won't ever be seen in this town again. I heard they got these vampires in Eastern Europe. They drink the blood of babies. If you leave them out at night, you better watch your babies. You better keep them inside. You better lock your babies up tight. I heard there's a full moon, looks like an orange. If an orange was as big as fucking could fly, I got so much on my table and it's vibed so high, but I give it all to you. One good night I think a lot about that green skin witch Trying to get them ruby slippers off her dead sister's feet in that ditch I know she was mean and ugly, but come on, that was some bullshit Nobody gave a fuck when that house landed on her sister They just started singing in the square 
Some cold ass shit, I swear I get it, she wasn't cool They didn't like her much at all, but she was still a living soul Trying to find a little love through it all I did that song in, in Portland, and then I did that verse, and people were laughing just like you guys were during that part. But then when I said, oh, she was still a living soul, trying to find a little love through it all, they were like, oh, the poor witch. <laughs> and y'all, Houstonites, were like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Which is what you should be, because she was a pedophile. And that's why they were, ha she wasn't a real pedophile, she was just fucking these little people. But in her head, they were younger than they actually, they weren't 42, they were young in her head. So fuck that bitch. I had to remind the people in Portland that she was a pedophile and then they were like, <gasps> We supported the pedophile. That's the way they talk up there in Portland. The good news is they can watch this on the live stream in Portland right now. So to all my Portland people, what's up? <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm just sitting here and I'm wasting my precious time. It's all I've got, it's all I'll ever have. I don't mind, I'm getting older. Straight down the middle, you can read the information. There's no answer to the riddle of what's on the other side. What does it matter? I love the way the sunlight scatters through the trees. We're gonna fade away like the breeze. We're just people, me and you, that's what people do. Thank you. Well, they're gonna put you out in the streets, Lorena. And they're gonna dance upon your grave. And they're gonna lock up your heart. They're gonna throw away the key. You better watch out how you behave. Well, you can run around forever Inside that big old head of yours well, You're gonna find the answers don't come easy To be sure And they're gonna put you out in the streets, Lorena So one day they'll come after you And they will tie you right down to the table And they're gonna make all your nightmares come true Cause you can't get away with nothing Your conscience, it's gonna give you away And you can't play with fire forever and not get burned. Cause they're gonna put you out in the streets, Lorena. All oh, them demons you're keeping locked away. All oh, them shiny skeletons in your closet. Well, they're gonna break free and get you one day. And I wanna be there when it happens. Well, I got my own demons, do you know? Yeah, I wanna be there when it happens to you.
Zev won't put you on the streets, Lorena. They're gonna sing and dance upon your grave. They're gonna lock up your black heart. They're gonna throw away the key. Oh, yeah. Believe me, Lorena. Oh, believe me, Lorena. Believe in me. Believe in me. Believe in me. Believe in me. Thank you. So my ex-wife's married to an actor, and uh, so I get the inside deets sometimes on um, on movies. I met him actually. It's weird because I met him 20 years ago, and uh, we became friends. And then I was still married to my wife at that time, and then now he's married to her, and I think it worked out pretty good actually. <laughs> He's much better for her than I am. And uh, anyways, we're we're buddies. We, there was a uh, there was a rough patch, <laughs> a real rough patch. Two year, mm. uh, yeah. But it's that's you know time, the river, you know, time and the healer. Anyways, I'm I'm remarried to to a to much younger, more beautiful woman, so everything worked out fine. He got the old, my old ex-wife, who I love, she's wonderful. She's old as F, but that's fine. <laughs> it's good, he is too, they're both old. They're old, they grow old together, it's wonderful. Anyways, all of that erased from your minds. <laughs> Pretend none of that was said, and let's hope they weren't watching. Uh, but what I wanted to say was I had some inside intel in, in, into uh, this one thing in the mu movie business, which interested me, which was Penelope Cruz, because I, I've always had a, uh, I've always been really attracted to that woman, and I found out through circuitous inside tracks that she's had sex with almost everybody that she's made a movie with in her career, including old Tom Cruise, boy. Anyways, I wrote a song, going low, something like that. I want to make a movie with Penelope Cruz. <laughs> Well, my life to look a little bit better. Yeah, I want to fall in love like I was falling off the face of the earth. I want to fall forever. But every day, my dreams seem farther and farther away. Yeah, I want you to break my heart like you would break it down the door. Throw me into the fire, into the fire. Yeah, roll me around like a cannonball and show this world a little desire, a little desire. Cause my whole life feels like a waste of time Do Be on the sound to hear when your mouth flies open and the words come out ka -ching. Ka -ching. 
And they fly through the air Fall into my ear and hit my heart They always make me sing La 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 That I've been wrong About most everything Thank you. Oh, it's a mysterious thing. It's a mysterious thing, this living that we're doing. Some people walk around in a daze, and some people walk around amazed at the way the sky is ablaze. When the sun's down around the world's waist And most people smile When they like something that they see And most people cry when they're sad or hurt And most people have the same kind of look when they get angry Even the Germans I don't know why you guys are laughing at the Germans you know, there's a lot of groups that you can't make fun of nowadays. Germans ain't one of them. They fucked up real hard. <laughs> but everybody laughs, everybody cries. Everybody lives, everybody does, everybody feels like, well, nobody could ever feel this way in their lives. Everybody lives until they fade into the mist. And eventually everybody gets taken off the list. And it's a mysterious thing. And I read that Will Rogers said that he never met a man he didn't like. And sometimes I wonder what living life like that might be like. You know. Have a whole world be filled with friends you haven't met. That'd be pretty cool, I bet. Then every once in a while, somebody like Muhammad Ali comes along. It ain't very often that somebody like Muhammad Ali comes along. And even though that there, there's never, you know, been anybody quite like Muhammad Ali, I, I tell you something, he still had the same feelings as you and me. Like, when you wake up in the morning and the bed's all wet The same way of wanting to forget I just looked down and I saw a little young man over there How old is that young man? Six? And what about your sister there? Six. Both six Hmm I'm not going to get into it here, but uh WTF. <laughs> they don't call it the dirty H for nothing. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a Brady Bunch situation. Are they, are you guys twins, maybe? Irish, Irish twins. <laughs> How do you spell W H O R? <laughs> No, I'm just joking, of course. Jesus. Hopefully they spell about as good as my nine-year-old daughter, which is not well at all. <laughs> like when you wake up in the morning and the bed's all wet. Same way I'm wanting to forget All the bad things that ever happened in your life The same way of knowing the difference between what's wrong and right The same way of wanting to be loved The same way of wanting to be loved 
And when you wake up in the morning and the sun is shining through the curtain, and the only thing in this life that is truly certain is that one day the sun won't be shining through the curtain. So where is Muhammad Ali now? No, seriously, where is Muhammad Ali now? I'll tell you. He's on YouTube. I saw him just last night. Yeah, he was fighting Joe Frazier, man. He was doing all right. I saw him fighting George Foreman. He was talking a tremendous amount of shit. People ate it up, though, because he was funny and he was handsome, too, and... Well, he could just knock you out if he just wanted to. And yeah, he was just like me and you. And maybe life's just a room that you're passing through. And maybe you're just playing a part that was assigned to you. I mean, it's hard to know what's real and true. It's a mysterious thing. Well, I woke up on the stupor, it's time to face a pooper. Sometimes I feel like Superman, sometimes I'm just recuperating. Yeah, yeah. Well, my head is just in its cage, mine's a 20 gauge. I hope it's a passing stage, my heart and red is beige. It stays like this, they burn me. Turn me inside out and learn me not to tell you anything. I think I know. I think I'll tell you more than I know. Yeah, I try to tell you all about it. Thought you might have heard I doubt it. Every day's a waste. I know every day's a funeral. I'm cutting up your loss. You lost my mind. I'm Mr. Frost. Collected the evidence. I'm off the edge and I'm on the fence. And it's just like this. They burn me, turn me inside out. And learn me not to tell you anything. I think I know. I think I'll tell you more than I know. I don't want to be alone. I want to be a stone. I just want to sink to the bottom of the ocean Lie there with you till I'm gone At the bottom of the big blue sea Just you and me if I want to sing along, that's fine At the bottom of the big sea The bottom of the big sea Just you and me At the bottom of the big sea Yeah, nah, I never know nobody better than I know myself But I can't figure out what I'm all about I'm sinking, I'm swimming, no way in a minute I'm drowning, kidding, I'm running Sometimes Sometimes I think I'm <laughs> Sorry, I just always wanted to yodel, and I finally figured it out, and I'm just like, oh, I got to practice now. <laughs> there it is. No one ever knew nobody better than I know myself. <laughs> There's just one person here and they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. He was doing so good. Just playing through the songs. Now he's fucking doing this yodeling shit. What the sh fuck? Anywhere and everywhere made up my mind is getting weird. Queer to think it might not get much better than the day I fear. Won't know too happiness. Try so hard. I did my best. My best wasn't good enough. Oh God, I hate this stuff. It's just like this. They burn me. Turn me inside out and learn me not to tell you anything. I think I know. I think I'll tell you all that I know. Don't want to be alone. I just want to be a stone. I just want to sink to the bottom of the ocean. Lie there with you till I'm gone. At the bottom of the big blue sea. Just you and me. At the bottom of the big 
at the bottom of the bed. See, just you and me at the bottom of the bed. See. Days like this, they burn me, turn me inside out and learn me. Days like this, they burn me, turn me inside out and learn me. Days like this, they burn me, turn me inside out and learn me. Not to tell you anything I think I know. Thank you. All right, I'm going to need a little bit of uh, crowd participation on this song. When I point at you, I just want you to scream my name as loud as you possibly can. All right, here we go. Oh, my baby, only got five toes. Where the others went, nobody knows. She might have told me once, but I forgot, I guess. You don't need to ask me, because the answer's always yes. You're my one and only, my true heart's desire So let me take your hat off and throw it in the fire I love reggae but I never ever play it I'm not crazy about my name but I love it when you say it salad pickles on the side my daddy went to hell when she went away he out in indiana with some honey pda yeah you're my one and only my true heart's desire so let me take your hat off and throw it in the fire i love reggae but i never ever play it i'm not crazy about my name but i love it when you say it it's better from Jamaica, that's where the wig is from. They call it murder, I don't know I come. Maybe cause it's killer, who am I to say? I look call my agent cause it's set in gay parade. No, I can't shoot threes if you're standing on my knees. So leave me alone, let me do as I please. Got thrown in the deep end and it was so unkind. But that's me on the cover of Nirvana's Nevermind. <gasps> you're my one and only, my true heart's desire. So let me take your hat off. Good job, everybody. All right, I want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. It's been a real treat. Hanging out with you here at the Mucky Duck in lovely Houston, Texas. Uh, good to see uh, my young fans here. I'm going to go Google Irish twins. <laughs> when I get done with this show, I don't know what the hell that means, but it sounds interesting. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it on a different site, maybe. <laughs> J.K. J.K. If I yell it out, if I spell it out, will you hear me if I tell you about what I have to say before it gets too late? 
And he says, I said, it'd be there's some right about you and me. Some right about you and me. You're the color of a bird of brook, color of a sideways look from an undercover cop in a comic book, color of a storm of June. You're the color of the moon, you're the color of the night, that's right. Color of a fight, you move me. Color of the color of part of the Wizard of Oz movie. And we're like Romeo and Juliet. We're like Florida dogs. Cigarettes, we're like good times that haven't happened yet, but we'll. Tell you where we're gonna be when the whole world falls in. To the sea we'll be living ever after happily. All them boys taking you for granted, tell you what they want with their eyes all slant. I don't like the way they look at you. I don't like the way they talk to. I don't like the way they talk to you. Wouldn't let them talk to you like that. Yeah, put them up high, reach for the ceiling, tumble down the walk, damn it, I'm reeling, ain't no crime, his dreams were still. Anything to get more this feeling, you take the high and I'll take the low, we'll get there before you know it, ain't got much time to waste, we got too much life to taste, and we're like Romeo and Juliet, we're like 40 dogs, and cigarettes, we're like good times that haven't happened yet, but well. So I was watching that Taylor Swift Ayers concert <laughs> movie with my nine-year-old daughter and my slightly older wife. Uh, I mean, you can do the math. We have a nine-year-old daughter together, so. <laughs> Stop it, man. It's too early. Anyways, we're watching it, and um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with a lot of her material because I have a penis, and <laughs> also that's the main. That's the only reason. <laughs> that's the number one reason. Anyway, so so we're. My daughter, on the other hand, she knows all of her songs. My wife knows all of her material. They're both huge fans. So all of a sudden, I'm watching this very long, it's so long, <laughs> it's a long movie. Oh, my God. I got limited time left on Earth. It was a percentage point of my time left on Earth. <laughs> like, it wasn't a de there was no decibels in there. It was like a round number percentage of my life left on Earth. Anyways, it was long. Anyway, so I'm hearing a bunch of songs, and then all of a sudden she starts singing a song called Romeo and Juliet. They came out right after my song came out. <laughs> I will say, there's no tobacco use in her song. There's no malt liquor, alcoholic beverages in her song. Making mine the superior song. <laughs> but also... What's the mean? What? Diddle ding 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 ding. Make it go ducky duck. What's the number of my lawyer? <laughs> it's magically delicious. I made for a man. Made for a man? But mm, no, made for what? I don't know. It's made for somebody and then somebody else likes it. Who gives a fuck? Anyways. <laughs> Play to reach a love man. Uh, anyways. Oh, it's your birthday? Okay. Tarantula! I did the short version. <laughs> That's the birthday version. You want to hear more? You got to line me pockets with gold. It's magically delicious. I need me gold. All right, fuck it. We're back in this 40 dog song.
something else that happened during the during the viewing of this uh, concert. At, at one point, she gets up there and just it's her. You know, she's got of course she's got the whole, whole thing. But at one point, she just grabs a guitar and she's like, "I'm gonna do some solo guitar shit." I'm like, "That's let's see what you got, girl." You know, because that's what I do. So I'm like, oh, "Let's see what you got, girl." So she gets up there and she's like. I'm gonna do this song about this guy, this breakup, and when I put it out on my record, by the way, if you're like, that's maybe the best Taylor Swift impression I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to do it. It's, uh, anyways, she's like, I, when I put this song out on my record, it was like three minutes, but I'm gonna do the 12 minute version if you've got time. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time. <laughs> I got limited time left on the earth. <laughs> I ain't, definitely ain't got 12 minutes. Anyways, it turns out the show's pre-recorded, so my input had no impact on her decision. <laughs> so she just goes right ahead and sings this at least 12-minute song, maybe longer. She starts singing it, and my wife is like, oh, this is the song where she loses her virginity to Jake Gyllenhaal. And I'm like, well, that makes it much more interesting <laughs> to me because I'm a Gyllenhaal fan, and I'm like, let's see what this... This well, let's see what this lady, who's obviously been spurred, is that the word spurned? <laughs> let's see what this spurned whore has to say about this motherfucker. Let's see if we can find out some deets on this broke back bitch. <laughs> so I'm all ears now. I've got a fucking notepad. I'm like, spill the tea, bitch. Spill the fucking tea. Anyways, 12 minutes come and go. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She's like, I was there. I'm like, what does that mean? Give me some real deets. Let me give me some like dick descriptions or something. Like it's short but girthy. Anything. I got nothing. All right, here we go. I am a huge Taylor Swift fan, but. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Some, sometimes you remind me of a moonbeam with the ghost of a moonbeam out on the beach down by the coast. Just slipping through the night like the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen. So just come out tonight, come out with me, baby. Throw the careful into the crazy. Turn the sky black into a sky blue. Turn the cloche into a... What I say is true. Make a fire, gotta burn a few. Gotta burn a few to make a fire. We're like Romeo and Juliet. We're like forty dogs. Cigarettes, we're like good times that haven't happened yet. But we're I can tell you where we're gonna be when the whole world falls in. To the sea we'll be living ever after happily. All right, thanks again, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much. That's uh, very nice. Thank you. Appreciate it.